Okay. I'm going to use, use something interesting here. Hopefully it won't be too difficult to do. <laughs> well, let's see how we go. I wonder how big we're going to make it. See how we go with this. Going to add some contrast. Going to lighten it up a fair amount. All right, let's see how we go with this. Let's see what we have got. We got here, this is what we're photocopying this page. And it's out of a magazine, Adelaide Cabaret Festival. My brother lives in Adelaide, actually. Um, but anyway, we're going to photocopy this page. So I'm just going to put it on the glass. We're going to overlap it at the top to get rid of that banner, that ugly banner along the top. Sorry about the poor camera work. I'm trying to use both my hands here to do this. So we're just going to get rid of that ugly banner that we don't want. Now I'm just bending the paper along the edge here a bit for nuisance. Sorry, folks. Sorry about the bad camera work. Um, I don't know how this is going to work. Let's see how we go. Sometimes these pages are difficult to put on the glass flat or properly against the edge, which is a real pain with these booklets. So these booklets can be a real pain to try and make look good. Anyway, I think we've done a good job with the placement. The placement looks good, but it looks like he's filling up the whole page. We've got to make the other background stuff too, but we've got it lined up nicely. So obviously that's the good bit. We're just going to go. We might be able to, hey, we might be able to just make a very small enlargement. We, that's way too big. I'm going to make it maybe a bit on the hor horizontal to get, because the banner is... I've lifted up the image, if you know what I mean. So we're going to make this 100 and 110 on the horizontal and on the vertical. I think we're going to make it the same. We're not going to distort the what they call the aspect ratio of this. So this will look really nice, hopefully. So let's see how we go. He looks like a real villain, that guy in the, in the foreground. Ugly looking creature. Ah, oh, but the problem is we've got the ugly writing. We've got the writing in the, in the fucking frame. We don't want the writing. So maybe, I'm just wondering how we're gonna fix this. <laughs> we might have to stretch the image, which will look a bit funny, but it's better than having that ugly uh, writing. I don't like the writing so I'm going to enlarge it bigger and we're just going to keep the, the people in there. So we're going to basically just use a bit of creative license and just distort the image to get rid of the writing. <laughs> so we're going to make this 141.4 which is the size we had before. So we're going to do it that way and maybe we're going to make this 100%. I'll see what we got. So we, we can't do anything about the... We have to stretch it. I just didn't see the writing. I didn't notice the writing or I forgot about it. It's a real nuisance when they design things like that. But they weren't designed to make what I'm doing. And this looks quite interesting. Um, this I'm thinking, I wonder where the centre of this job is gonna be i'm actually thinking that's the center it's not a really good job for this what i'm doing or i may be thinking that maybe i'll just try to see where the center is it's just not easy trying to use my intuition uh to make this look better um it's probably gonna look shit, but that's the trick that's the um the risk i take in doing my work is i'm actually thinking i was actually thinking maybe a movement piece out of this we'll see how we go because it might look good as a movement piece some things that don't come up as well as stills uh, we'll see how we go we'll see how this image works um, it probably works better than I imagine sometimes I 
You just don't know until you've actually assembled it as a mirror image. You don't know what the image is going to be like, how it's going to look, until you've actually done it and taken a bit of a, a risk. Taking a bit of a risk, and I take risks with this sometimes, often, and often they pay off. Occasionally they don't, uh, but they usually work out better than I think. That's not the best kind of image for this kind of treatment. It wasn't designed for that. It was designed to advertise. <laughs> Let's see how we go. It's not designed to be used as, as whatever. So now we're just going to line these up. We'll just move this bad one away. They're curling on the sides, which is really bad. I'm trying to line things up when their sides are curled and you don't I'll have to line up with the edge of the paper, with the edge of this sheet here. You can see that's curling on the edge, which makes it really near impossible to do it side do it sideways. So it's a real nuisance this curling. But actually, that apart from the curling, that's turned up a treat. That looks a lot better. You can see there's little shadowy bits there, and that looks really good. I think now we can call this one quits.